Okay, so you'll see that there's been three new icons added. We've got the edit top stitch. Over here, we've got the segment top stitch and the free top stitch. So I'm going to show you the difference between these two. And to basically apply uh, top stitching onto your garment, you'll just go ahead, select one of these. So we'll start at segment top stitch. I'm going to go to my pattern and I want some stitching just over here by the collar region. So I'm going to select uh, this line on my pattern over here. You can see it turns blue. As soon as I left click on that, it's going to basically apply the stitching on here. And now the stitching is only visible uh, when you've got the simulation turned off, but it's still there. You'll see if I turn the simulation on right now, it disappears. And as soon as I pause my simulation, I can view it again. But if I zoom in, you can see we've got a single stitch over here. And this looks really nice. Like, uh, like I was saying, if, if you're doing close-up renders, uh, this is going to look really awesome. It just adds that next level of detail. Okay, so to demonstrate this a little bit better, I'm actually going to select some more uh, segments. And I'm holding down Shift to select more segments on my garment. And this is what I wanted to show you. With the, uh, with the segment top stitch, you can see that our stitches over here cross over. Now maybe that's a particular look and feel that you're going for with your garments, but keep that in mind. You'll see that when we use the, top, uh, the free top stitch, uh, we're going to get a much cleaner result and we won't get stitches crossing over like this. And if I wanted to apply stitches on my entire garment, if I just hold on my left mouse button and drag out a box like this and select the entire pattern, there we go. It's going basically going to put stitching on this entire region. So that's just a quicker way to speed that up. And there again, you can see that these stitches are crossing over. Okay, so I'm going to go to the edit top stitch and just right click on here and say delete. And now basically with the free top stitch, I want to make sure I'm deleting all of my top stitching over here. Okay, so with the free top stitch, uh, that basically allows me to define a start and end point. So you'll see I'll left click to place my first point and I can basically drag this wherever I want it to go. So it's given me that freedom to drag out my end point. So I can choose to end my top stitching right over there. And you'll see that if I go close to my garment, you can see that this top uh, the top stitching ended right over there. And if I wanted to apply the free top stitching on my entire region, I'll just double click and it's going to select that entire region for me. Okay. So you'll notice with the free top stitch is that these lines, like I said, with the edit top stitch, they don't cross over. So you get a much more cleaner result, but it really depends on what you're going for because people tend to play around with top stitching, especially if they're doing jeans, like on the pockets, they'll have different uh, ways the stitching is basically laid out. So it's really dependent on how you use this. Okay. And once we've applied the top stitch in here in the property editor, we have this menu that pops up. We can choose to extend the start to the end point of our stitching. And over here, really important, and another cool feature is we can actually choose to curve our stitching. So if I uh, decide to turn that on, you'll see here wherever we have these like really sharp corners, it basically curves it for us. And if we adjust this length over here, we can basically adjust the curvature of our stitching. So you'll see if I decrease that, it starts adjusting the curvature. And if we increase that mount as well, it's basically just to control the curvature of our stitching. So really nice feature that they included. Okay, so now it's time to actually take this a little bit further and start editing our top stitching. You'll see on the right, we've got this top stitch in the object browser and we've got something called default top stitch. So this, these, uh, this uh, preset for this top stitch is basically linked to the top stitching that we just applied over here and I can go ahead, double click on this, rename it. So I'll just say t-shirt front and click on enter. But you can see while I've got this selected, we, here in the property editor, we've got some more menus that we can play around with. And uh, you can see over here, if we go ahead and change the preset, they've put some other different patterns in here of top stitching for us. So you can see we've got a buttonhole, we've got a overlock stitch. And uh, one of my favorites is the zigzag stitch. I think it looks pretty cool. So you've got those presets in there. And something that I think is really awesome that they allow you to do is that you can actually bring in your own custom OBJ. So if you've created your own stitch in another program, and it's, I think it's a, if it's able to tile correctly, and uh, it's obviously not too dense in terms of polygon count, you can import that. And basically, Marvelous Design is going to go ahead and apply that OBJ on there for you. And that's another thing to mention 
this stitching is actually geometry guys so when you export your garment out of here it's going to export this out as geometry so if you're taking it over to zbrush you'll still have this uh, geometry of the stitching that you guys can modify and apply different materials to and all of that so I thought that it was a really awesome inclusion and then uh, a lot of the other stuff here is self-explanatory we can adjust the width and the overall length of our stitch and then the offset uh, which is really cool if I go ahead and let's put this on something like 4 you can see it's basically offsetting it from the board over here from that line and bringing it further in so even put it on something more dramatic like 8 and you can see it's just offsetting it from our border or, or our line over here uh, with our stitching okay and then of course again thread thickness we can adjust the thickness of this line so if I go 0 0.9 you can see over there it's just going to give us oops I think I put mine on 9 yes I did that's all fine you can see it made it a lot thicker so if you want that more prominent and easier to see you guys can do that we can also change the color of our stitching all right can make that a red bright red and uh, over here the number of the lines if I put this on something like two this is basically like duplicating our stitching so you can see it added another another row of the stitching and if I adjust the distance if I put the distance on something like four it's also it, it, it basically acts like an offset so you can see over there we've got basically duplicated that stitching and offset it from the other one Okay, so let's say you wanted to add some additional top stitching to the exact same region, but you wanted it to be a different pattern or different design. So how do we actually do that? Because we've selected this entire region and basically this entire region is linked to this preset. So to basically combat this, what we have to do is you want to go to your edit pattern and I'm going to select these two lines. I'm going to right click and I'm going to offset this as an internal line. I'll put my distance on something like 30. And the thing is, you can basically apply top stitching to uh, to um, internal lines as well. So if I go to segments, uh, actually what I'm going to do first is this preset over here, I'm going to copy it. And then now I can go to my segment top stitch. And if I select these two lines, you can see automatically it's applying stitching here. But I can go into this preset and change it to something else like, uh, let's say, overlock. And there we go. So exact same region, but a different top stitch. And again, if I wanted to, we could use the free top stitch on here. So maybe I just wanted top stitch in in that region. So you can control exactly where you wanted it to be, and it's going to be in the exact same region. You're just referencing the internal line. Okay, one more thing to mention, you can see over here by face, we can see we've got the stitches on the front face, but let's say maybe you want the stitches to be visible on the inside or the opposite side of this garment, you'll just change that to back, or you can have it on both, so in on the front and on the back side of your pattern, but you'll see if I put this on back and I just move this forward, so let's say for whatever reason there's a render that's showing the inside of the garment you'll be able to now have that stitching on the inside as well or you can have it on both sides okay so earlier I showed you how you can actually reference internal lines to have uh, different top stitch patterns on here but there is another feature as well that's built right into just this individual preset you'll see over here there's actually a plus icon here by the material and you can see number one, which would be our basic top stitch that you see over here in the 2D window. But if I had to click on plus, it's basically going to create another uh, top stitch. And you can see over here, we can choose to use the stitch. So this is this uh, red top stitch that you see over here. Then I clicked on plus again, and I said use the stitch, and I changed that to a different one. And you can see it's basically adding multiple top stitches again in the exact same region so if I click on plus click on I change my preset to maybe zigzag okay it's just taking a little bit of time to synchronize because there's quite a lot of uh, top stitching now in this particular region so I'm gonna put my distance over here on something like 15 just so I offset this 
so I can see it easier. But there we go. So you can see now multiple top stitching in the exact same region, just using this plus icon to create uh, more than one top stitch. So that can also come in handy in case you guys don't want to reference uh, any internal lines. You can see all the settings are the same. It's just creating multiple top stitching. Okay. All right, guys, so that's going to bring us to the end of the tutorial. I'll say just a good general rule. Uh, maybe don't add too much stitches because this is going to make your scene quite heavy in another program because you can see over here I added quite a lot of stitching. I would say actually go just go on Google and actually see where the top stitching is usually placed so that also makes sense and uh, I would try and avoid adding too much like if you go way overboard with the stitching your scene is going to get really heavy so just keep that in mind. And from here once you've added your stitching you just select it and just like how you would export a regular comment, uh, you go ahead, export this out. These are my usual export settings. And it's actually going to export the stitching for you uh, as well with your garment. Okay. All right, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching my tutorials. I appreciate the support so much on this channel. And stay, stay tuned for some more tutorials. And goodbye.